Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Clan. And my gosh, there are a lot of cats here. <laughs> but you guys, I'm so happy with all the comments. You guys have been so nice and there have been so many name suggestions. Almost a hundred name suggestions. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm so grateful for all the support and enthusiasm that you guys have showed for this series. And I'm excited to see where this clan um, goes, well, the kingdom, and uh, if we actually survive. And I mean, if we have this many cats constantly, then I don't feel like we can die. I am very much so expecting a mass extinction event at any moment now. <laughs> Just hopefully it won't take our king down with him. With us, especially not him and his brother. That would be quite something. Um... And we are past the holidays now, so I hope everyone has had a nice uh, holiday and <laughs> hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves. And for those of you who did celebrate, I hope you guys have gotten some nice gifts and really just, well, enjoyed life <laughs> with the ones you love. So, um, I actually went through and sorted all the name suggestions as well as named some new kitty cats uh, knights as they had some uh, scars that I hadn't really paid attention to last year. Uh, so, we have uh, Knight Storm, Stoat, Mask and Ingot. I believe that's all of them. And then we have uh, Heather, our healer who is daring as, as a really good climber and she's quick to make peace. And you guys, I'm sorry if I can't remember any of these cats because I'm gonna be honest, they, they all look uh, foreign to me. <laughs> this is a lot of cats, we are going through them really, really quickly. Um, but I do know Shade, obviously, and his brother Ghost, who is down here. Who's strange with a keen eye and a good kid sitter. I feel like I remember him having the revenge trait, but oh well. A leopard, a fierce dark forest expert, is going with night stoat and they're gonna go fishing a little bit. And Fern, uh, who has a mate in Cyclone, is going with night storm. Lucky getting knights, apparently. Okay, so they notice um, that a Moor clan sent has strayed into their territory. Moor clan has been hostile recently. This can't be good. And actually, one of you guys suggested new names for the two clans we've met so far. I am going to change them. I just forgot to. Uh, we're going to antagonize this. Um... Seems like they simply wanted to talk. We're gonna send Spice out, not with King Shade. Uh, actually, Wish... Right, Wish you don't have a parent. Your parent is unfortunately dead, so you have to go on a solo patrol. Uh, and this is an old loner, we're gonna just proceed. We have Nutmeg and Oakley. Um... We're gonna proceed here as well, but unfortunately we didn't get a new cat, but maybe that's actually a fortunate thing <laughs> with all the cats we have. Okay, Red and Frost are gonna go out as well. They catch some eagle stuff, it seems. There we go, and our healer Heather is going to gather some rosemary. There we go, that's the first uh, moon of this year. Uh, we don't have a deputy and we don't have enough healthy medicine cats, that is unfortunately. Uh, the war with Moor Clan is dis disrupting the daily lives of Kingdom Clan, forcing them to adapt to new routines and living situations in order to defend themselves better. Uh, Sir Onyx goes to Moor Clan uh, in an attempt to erase the tension of war between the clans. It goes well and Moor Clan begins to draw back from Kingdom Clan's territory. Well, that's nice. I wonder what kind of things he said to them. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Knight Ingot has healed from their mangled leg. Mystic has recovered. Um, the tensions between Kingdom Clan and Moor Clan is palp palpable, <laughs> with even the smallest actions potentially leading to violence. Nutmeg has gotten a running nose. Uh, Wishes running nose is gone. The medicine cat apprentice from Mole Clan comes asking for herbs, and we decide not to share any. <laughs> okay, so far I just hope that uh, King Shade is gonna have kittens with Lynx because we really need some heirs. Those two are both very very young, but in the game I am not sure when they can actually have kittens, so. We might have to wait a little bit and that's completely fine. Uh, we're gonna randomize, uh, not King Shade. Uh, we're gonna have Night Stoat and Fern out. Uh, and there is Hush Clan, we're gonna antagonize because we have to antagonize all the clans. For now at least, uh, and they are actual clans, it's just us who has a kingdom. Okay, so we have a new kitty pet here, or a new loner, if I can find them. Uh, here they are. Okay, so this is a male. He's strict, a good swimmer, and a lore keeper. What's his history? He used to be a loner, but joined the clan uh, after something terrible made them leave their old life behind. Okay, okay. Uh, well, we're gonna have to look up some... Um, some names here and he was a good swimmer huh interesting um i'm gonna name him cove i think there we go so this is cove he's uh he's pretty cute actually with little brown eyes well bronze apparently uh spice Wish you have to go alone, I'm sorry. Uh, it's gonna go with Knight Ingot. They return to camp a little bit irritated. That is unfortunate. Uh, and Wish is dead, unfortunately. Okay, so Wish takes the lead in checking the source of the noise and comes face to face with a snarling Wolverine. With the Wish yowls for help, but they are alone on this patrol and they have a sudden realization that no one can help them now. The wolverine kills the lone cat with little trouble. This is unfortunately something that will happen for kittens who don't have parents. They have to go out alone uh, when they are apprentices and unfortunately Wish did not have the ability to survive. Which is quite unfortunate and I do believe Wish, who is your... Hold on, oh my goodness, I am clicking all of the things. Wish your yeah your siblings to Heather and Snake, and your parent is Kite, who uh, who just kind of have kittens. Okay, um, so that is very unfortunate. I'm sure Heather and Snake will be very distraught. Uh, Snake right here has kitten cough. Unfortunately, but that also means he. I mean, he's struggling in camp, but he doesn't have to go out on patrol, so that's at least nice for him. Oakley and Nutmeg, you two can go out on a patrol as well. Frost, Cyclone. Uh, Frost actually decided not to eat the prey. Okay, and Red, you can go on a solo patrol. And it seems like he catches some... Some, some uh, fish. Heather uh, has gathered some horsetail. Okay, so let's uh, see what this new moon has for us. So apparently Moor Clan, uh, the war with Moor Clan has finally ended. That's nice. Um, Mystic has noticed themselves slowing down. They have worked timelessly for many moons. It's time for them to retire. Well, do you have... She's also caught outside the clan's territory. Hold on. Mystic, where are you? You are furthest back. Um. Okay, see, she doesn't have any kids. 
but at the same time... Oh... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think... Um... Mystic, I'm sorry, I don't think you can uh, retire. We're gonna cat toggles uh, prevent retirement. Uh, because cats can unfortunately only retire when they have um, kits that uh, are alive. I mean, if the kittens die after they've retired, it, it's just what it is. But um, they can't retire when, um, when they don't have kittens who are alive taking care of them um okay so night mask is going out with the red there is a thunder path uh calm righteous story yeah i think they'll just proceed and they hunt fine on the other side okay so now we have snake who has to go out alone and he died as well he got trapped by a badger it seems <laughs> So, the two siblings unfortunately didn't survive. Uh, Heather is the only one who's alive now. And she's gonna gather some raspberry. So she probably take, has taken that pretty hard. Um, and is probably pretty angry at the way this uh, kingdom works. I'm just kind of <laughs> going through these as fast as possible. Because there's not really anything happening other than just them going out. Uh, later on, when updates come to the game, I believe they are working on a prey pile update. So at that point, you know, um, it could... It, it's a bit more important what uh, patrols we do. Okay, so Sir Onyx and Ghost have um, s has had their grief softened. Um... Nutmeg is running gnomes, has finally stopped running. Breeze wishes desperately to hear the voice of their loved one again. Uh, to see their face and smell their scent. The reality of the situation makes Breeze want to wail into the sky. That is a bit unfortunate. Leopard uh, was seen chasing off a kitty pen. And healer Heather's tail was badly injured by falling rocks. Well, that's not right. Uh, Mask was apparently found dead near Mole Clan border. Um, Yu picks themselves up out of their nest and begins the day anew. A fresh conviction in their heart. That's wonderful. Uh, apparently they were struggling with the recent flood of nightmares, but they have finally uh, stopped, thankfully. And Snake and Night Mask have... Uh, taking their place in Star Clan, which isn't quite how this works in in the in the kingdom. They don't believe in Star Clan, so to speak. So we have you, who is the daughter of Nutmeg, so they can go together. Unlike Snake, um, so Spice, you're gonna go with Oakley, not King Shade. He's not allowed to go out. Ghost Red, uh, go on patrol, they um, antagonize Hush Clan's borders a little bit. Night Storm and Breeze, you guys can just proceed. Frost and Night Ingot. Um, insecure and Nervous, I think they'll just kind of not proceed on this one. Uh, as Frost and Night Ingot aren't very confident, per se. Um, and we had a kitty pet named Ginger Snap uh, join the clan. Actually, with, um, with Christmas just having been and everything, despite this cat being a vengeful, formidable fighter, I feel like we, we should just keep the name Ginger Snap. Uh, it sounds pretty cute. So, we're still on two pages <laughs> of cats <laughs> that I have no clue who, who are, basically. But that's okay. They are, um, let, let, you know what? Let's look at the relationships a little bit. 
So King Shade actually he does love links. Not anyone else he loves, no. I feel like King Shade kind of has the right to anyone. Not actually, but with the way the kingdom works, his word is final, even when it's personal like that, which is of course completely wrong. <laughs> and it shouldn't be like that in real life. Um but thankfully these are just pixel cats and it can't hurt anyone but themselves. <laughs> um so let's see. Fern and Cyclone are together. There's not really any romantic light between anyone. So the kingdom isn't very close. Nutmeg actually kind of likes Cyclone, but Cyclone already has a mate. That is unfortunate. Um Stoat likes Frost a little bit. So that might become something. Oh, Cyclone actually likes Nutmeg as well. He's together with Fern, but he actually likes Nutmeg more than Fern. Oh, that's interesting. So that might cause a little bit of uh, something right there. A little bit of drama. Uh, Oakley actually likes Nutmeg. So that's interesting. Red, you don't have any romantic interests in anyone. Um... Frost and Ingot do kind of have a mutual um oh oh previous mate right they they actually broke up okay yeah never mind they I remember that now <laughs> they actually broke up uh on their own accord so I'm not gonna push that one um, Breeze, you have a lot of family. Good gracious. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, Nutmeg's family is sort of the big family here. I mean, we have Breeze and you from a second generation, and then Spice and Lynx, as well as Breeze from the first one, as well as Nutmeg. This is a big family. I, I believe um, this Nutmeg family sort of has a, uh, a pretty big say in the clan, or at least, at least is honored quite a lot. Uh, for Nutmeg having so many kittens who are all alive somehow. Well, a lot of them are alive at least. I don't know if all of them are. <laughs> no, uh, almost half of them are dead actually, but there's still so many kittens that it just doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and actually one of her kittens is mates to King Shade. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, keep going here with the moons. Sir Onyx uh, will always love Jay, but has decided to move on. Uh, Knight Ingot was loitering around Hush Clan's borders looking for a specific cat. I wonder if that's why... Um, if that's why Ingot and Frost broke up. Because he's he uh, she found out that he's with a clan cat. That would be pretty interesting. Okay, so uh, Frost wasn't looking where they were going, tripped over a small trunk and <laughs> has their pride a little bit bruised. Uh, Mystic announces that they're expecting kids. They decide to move into the nursery in preparation for their soon to come kids. Well, see, that's interesting because she wanted to retire but couldn't until she had kids. So that's actually pretty interesting. She might uh, retire after that. Um, there is an infection growing in Fern's broken bone. That is quite unfortunate. King Shade will always love Jade, but has decided to move on. Don't know how much he actually loved her, though. As much as just Sir Onyx uh, convincing him that it was a status thing to have a mate. Uh, Lynx wakes one day, and after moons of numbness, she feels a little bit less dull. Okay, well then, maybe their relationship, her and uh, King Shade, that is, is going a little bit better than I thought. Uh, Night Storm has gotten heat exhaustion, and is, uh, and unfortunately, Heather's mangled tail has started to swell and feel feverish. And she's the only one who can heal herself, so that's a little bit... A little bit uh, iffy right there. 
rough ground in camp has torn Heather's pelt as they drag themselves around. Oh, Heather is just not having a good time. That is not nice. Uh, I mean, she's obviously paralyzed, but she has a mangled tail that is infected now, and her pelt is torn from just dragging herself around camp. That is that is not fun. Okay, so Mystic, you're a queen now. Well, not an actual queen. <laughs> you will be a mother. Uh, Frost and Lynx. Right. Fro yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, I just haven't seen Lynx because she's been um, she's been injured <laughs> this entire time. Actually, you know what? I think um, Lynx and King Shade might go on a training patrol together. Um, King Shade gives them all their attention as Lynx talks about how how hypothetically. Uh, if they were interested in another warrior, how one might possibly go about talking to them about it? Hypothetically, for a friend. Oh, Lynx, are you interested in someone else? Hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm sure you're honored for being like King Shades. No, no, she's not. Okay, maybe it was for a friend then. Maybe she actually meant it for one of... Um... One of her siblings. Maybe Spice is interested in someone? No, it doesn't look like it. What about Breeze? Interesting. Okay, so Lynx, you have a little bit of some secrets right there. Spice, um... Well, actually, Nutmeg and you, you two can... Oh, I sent them out on a training patrol by accident. That wasn't my intention. Uh, Oakley got a claw wound, unfortunately, so that's not nice. Ghost and Night Ingot, they're gonna antagonize more clan, obviously, by hunting over their border shamelessly and even putting down um, some very obvious scent markers after them. There we go, so that's all of them. And we are just worsening relationships with all the clans because that is just how this works in the cl in the kingdom. So Mystic actually thinks she has uh, she's gonna get a small litter. Uh, you never know with those because I've had cats say, "Oh, I'll get a small litter," and then they get like the biggest litter of litter I've ever seen. <laughs> so you never know. Uh, Nutmeg was trying to fluff up their nest when they saw a thorn inside their bedding. Another prank, but it could not fool them. Uh, Breeze was seen touching noses with a loner. Scandalous. Oh, that is scandalous. A spice has gotten fleas. I could see that being a big problem in this huge clan. Well, kingdom. Uh, Night Storm daisily rolls around in their nest, searching for a cooler spot. Their exhaustion is beyond just a little thing, and their confused, a confused brain still has enough observational power to recognize full heat stroke. Ouch. Uh, yeah, I hope Storm is gonna recover from that. Cove's mangled tail seems to be fully recovered. That's nice. We have a lot of white cats that are sick. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so, well, Mystic isn't sick, to be fair. She's just... She's uh, awaiting kittens. Um, which I really want to see. So I'm, I'm just rushing on these patrols because I want to see that, those kittens so badly. <laughs> uh, Nutmeg and you, you two can... Oh, Nutmeg is being really good at uh, taking care of her... Her kittens, really. Mmm... -mm. Oh. Okay, so we do have Night Stone. Um, who's calm? Red is nervous, or it's the other way around. Either way, they proceeded to go over this thunder path. But Night Stone is hit by a monster and seems quite injured. Somehow, uh, they survive. Uh, the kingdom is shaken by the incident, and is, it's a reminder to every cat that just because their territory contains a few thunderpaths doesn't mean they can forget their danger. 
Apparently not, so you know, that's fair. I think Lynx once more will go out on a training patrol with King Shade. Uh, unfortunately, it's just a little bit awkward. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so there's an apprentice from Mora clan. I think uh, King Shade would be more than happy in this case to um, just invite a cat from another clan. Although he's gonna have to prove himself. Uh, or she, sorry. She's only seven moons old. That is not very old. She's responsible as well, but it is difficult. Um, her name is Cragpaw. I'm gonna name her uh, Aspen. I think, because she just seems like an Aspen to me. <laughs> so there we go. Her name is Aspen. Mm, okay, so that... Oh, I don't want her to die. <laughs> is the thing. I don't want her to die. I'm going to uh, manage roles. No, I'm going to change mentor to King Shade because that just helps me see that they don't actually have a parent. So there we go. Uh, okay, she's been lost. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, Aspen has heard terrible things about two legs, but when... They still creep closer when one of them fa falls and starts yowling with pain. It's a mistake, and a trap snaps shut around them. Uh, they are taken out of the mountains with the injured two leg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, hopefully Aspen survives the wild and can come back as a uh, potential knight or just simply a peasant for the kingdom. Okay, is everyone ready for kittens? I know I am. So let's see. Uh, Sir Onyx has been waiting e eagerly to meet their offspring. At, at, oh, goodness gracious. At Mystic's inv invitation, they crawl into the nursery, purring and joining Mystic in linking their single kitten clean. Though the blood loss did not make the birth any easier for Mystic. Okay, so it seems like because she's old... She unfortunately um, had a little bit of a harder, uh, what should you call it, birthing. So, I think uh, I think we will retire her at this point. Fern's infection is gone. Uh, Storm has apparently recovered from her heat stroke, so that's nice. Healer Heather's wound is no longer infected, and she actually healed her own tail, but it left them scarred. Uh, and her pelt is fine now. Uh, okay, and she's gotten her full name. That's really nice. Okay, so I guess Storm gives Healer Heather something to adorn their pelt as congr congratulations. Gosh, okay, and Ginger Snap has recovered from White Calf. That's nice. Uh, and Ginger Snap got frostbite. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Uh, you is apparently a fully trained knight now. We do have. Oh my gosh! Uh, oh my gosh! This is so cute. It's a little bully. She's a little bully, but she is very cute. She's a cute little bully. <laughs> Not that they can really be cute little bullies, but, you know. Uh, actually, I think we're gonna name her Crystal. After the, um... Well, the literal Crystal Cove we are living in, you know? <laughs> Which is very, very cute. I'm gonna take Mystic and I'm going to, uh... Retire her. And I'm also going to... Whoops, no, not that one. Uh, cat Darrells, I'm gonna remove the prevent retiring. Oh, and look at Heather. Heather? <laughs> Healer Heather. Wow. She has herbs covering her pelt. She has scarred tail. And she's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, she's daring. She's a good mediator and a good climber. Honestly, mm, I think she would immediately... I don't know how uh, Sir Onyx would feel about this, but he is very, very strict with the rules. And the rules say that Heather can actually just claim any kitten she wants. 
except for maybe the royal lineage. I'm unsure about that. I think we just keep it at any any kitten she wants to claim, she can claim. So here we have Healer Crystal. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so we have a new um, medicine cat apprentice coming up as well. All in all, these cats are like, I'm so blown away by, by how beautiful Heather is. <laughs> and Lynx is really beautiful as well. Okay, so let's uh, send them out. We have Leopard and Breeze. Um, yeah, no, at, at the cat. Uh, there we go. And we got a new kitty cat in our clan again. Uh, oh my gosh, you are kidding me. <laughs> okay, they have white cough. Their name is Meatloaf Fern. Who named you? Who named you Meatloaf Fern? What in the world? What kind of name even is that? <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, Meatloaf Fern, your new name is going to be Merc. Um, so there we go. I'm not actually 100% sure about what Merc is. Um, Right, okay, so it's uh, to be defeated. That's a little bit mean of a name. <laughs> but yeah, that... <laughs> Whoops, I'm sorry, Merc. That's just uh, just the name you came with. So, Cyclone, Nutmeg, you two can go uh, get some things done. Lynx, you two are going to go practicing training again. Red and Cove, you can... Go do whatever ingot and okay. So now we actually have uh, two knights. One is nervous and teaching. The other one is storytelling. Yeah, I th I think we'll just not hunt where there are a bunch of two legs. Uh, you and ghost. I find it so funny how how different ghost and uh, shade's lives are just because shade was born a little bit earlier. It's uh, quite interesting. Okay, after a long journey, Aspen has returned! Yes! <laughs> she returned! She's alive! Okay, so uh, the damage to Fern's leg was simply too great. And while it, ma uh, it has mangled... <laughs> while it has managed to heal, uh, Heather tells Fern that it was always be twisted at an odd angle. Okay. Uh, Oakley has had their claw wound heal. Ghost finds Juniper while out um, walking and decides to give them to Oakley. Breeze saved King Knight from a dog and was barely even hurt. They're a bit bruised, but bruises are better than claw marks. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I actually... Someone said for uh, for last episode that they had wished one of the cats who had saved um, King Shade as well, I believe, from a... Uh, or Sir Onyx? Yeah, Sir Onyx. Uh, they had died saving Sir Onyx from a dog or something. And they had wished that they would be become a knight. So I was actually thinking, if you've saved someone from the royal lineage, I feel like that would also sort of suffice as becoming a knight, surely. Um, I, I think so. So we're going to name Breeze a knight. Uh, Spice has spent their whole life with only three legs, but that doesn't mean they uh, ne never feel the strain of moving in a way their body wasn't meant to. Oh, okay. So Spice is feeling a little bit sore. That's unfortunate. Um, and Storm was caught sharing prey with a kitty pet. <laughs> who was chased off by a patrol. Okay, but if we can find Breeze, here's Breeze, who's actually... Oh, she's female, whoops. I totally knew that. Um... Okay, and she actually is wishing that their leader would choose them to go on a uh, quest. Well, you won't be going on a quest, but you are going to become a knight here in the kingdom. 
uh, at a really young age. And I do believe this is... Yeah, this is uh, his mate Lynx's sister. I thought it was her brother at first, but apparently not. Okay, so that's really cool. Oakley, you look absolutely adorable with those junipers on your um, on your ear there. Fern, you actually have a um, injury as well, so we're gonna name you a knight. Uh, and I'm thinking knights, just spewing a little bit of ideas here. I'm thinking knights can also uh, retire without having kittens. I'm thinking, because they serve the clan in another way. Um, okay, so Crystal here, who's going to be a healer, is scratching everything they can get their claws on. They're a little bully who has an active imagination. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> She's not a healer at all whatsoever. But she is now. Um, it's not really a choice for her in that regard. Uh, oh yeah, and Aspen came home. Here's Aspen. Okay, your mentor's not... You... No. Your mentor is... Uh, King Shade, not, not Nutmeg. Um, which means that you actually don't have a mentor. Okay, so she finds a kitty pet who I am not even gonna try pronouncing that name. What in the world? I have no clue how to pronounce. So, some, no, I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't pronounce the name, but... We are going to name her something else. She's thoughtful, a fish-like swimmer, and very clever. <laughs> okay, I am going to name her Flutter. And these names are all your suggestions and... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a male. I was gravely mistaken. I do this uh, very often. Where I was, uh, I was mistaken. Very much. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna name him... We're gonna name him... Chime, I think. Not Chive, not Chine. Chime. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, I think that's a very cute name. Uh, but yeah, I, I do this all way too often. Just give a cat uh, a name based on how they look. Cyclone is actually going out with his mate, Night Fern. <laughs> and uh, they seem to be having a good time. So Night Fern interrupts them. Um, because Cyclone feels they never do a good job. Uh, and they she tells him that, hey, I, I always think you're doing a good job. And Cyclone, of course, looks away with a purr and hides their nose in their paws. Absolutely adorable. Uh, Nightstorm, Nutmeg, you two can go out. We find a, another little um, apprentice here. Uh, we're actually going to change the mentor to King Shade. Okay, so short, you're... Wait, hold on. Okay, so it's a female, she's bloodthirsty, okay, and a moss ball hunter. So she's very, very active, very, very, um, well, a little bit aggressive and stuff, <laughs> to say the least. Um, hmm. Mm, I'm gonna name her, how about Mint? Because Mint is very very nice in like the sense that she's a good hunter and such but it's also a very strong scent and cats usually don't like mint scents so um at least my cats don't like uh the smell of the poop tooth <laughs> goodness the toothbrush uh <laughs> here at home so leopard chime you two can go out uh they're doing fine there we go Oh, I don't know, Ingot, if you're taking Lynx out, that's a little bit... 
Okay, but Lynx is doing fine. Ghost and Oakley. Man, those two seem to always be together, don't they? Nightshade, I don't think you really care. Uh, you, you are an adult, so that's nice. Uh, and Heather, you unfortunately had an unsuccessful day of looking for herbs. Okay, um, Ingot was taking was seen taking food from a two leg. That is unfortunate. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of little things happening here. Frost didn't land right after jumping from a rock. Mystic is no longer suffering from white cough or white cough. <laughs> no. King Shade has gotten white cough. Mystic is no longer suffering from blood loss. Uh, Breeze, Breeze's bruises have healed. Uh, Spice has gotten rid of all of his fleas. That's nice. Storm has gotten a running nose. Um, Red was seen ca talking calmly to a loner before both cats went their separate ways. He's also gotten a, or she has also gotten a running nose, and Ginger Snap is uh, no longer having a frostbite. Wow, this clan is growing way too fast, and there are way too many random cats in here. <laughs> I can't wait until we get uh, good families, like well, good families, like actual families, like Nutmeg, because then it's kind of easier remembering. Oh, and Breeze. Uh, Lynx and Spice are the kittens, as well as you and their mother's nutmeg. I don't know, it's just, just easier to remember that side of the family. Uh, also, Sir Onyx is coming up in the years, just so everyone knows. He might not actually uh, survive for much, much longer. We're gonna romantically uh, mediate those two again. Uh, the king and his mate. You, honestly, you might just go out alone. Okay, she missed a, a shrew, unfortunately. Okay, and now we have another cat joining. Good gracious. Good gracious. Okay, so this is a female. She's sneaky, a lore keeper, and has... Helpful insight. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if eventually we just stop um, inviting cats from outside. I'm gonna name her Violet uh, because her fur is a little bit bluish tinted here. So there we go. Red and Breeze, you two can go oakley ghost because right now um whoops i didn't i didn't mean to uh, not proceed on that one ginger snap and uh, night storm because i was thinking eventually right now i mean nightshade just wants or nightshade king shade just wants to uh make his kingdom as absolutely big as possible because of oakley Oakley? Not because of Oakley. Oakley hasn't done anything. Because of Sir Onyx, who uh, wants to honor his best friend who made the whole concept in the first place. Um, which means... Uh, yeah, well, what that really means is just that um, we're inviting all the cats. And eventually, maybe some cats will not uh, want any more cats in the clan. Um, like if we get a, a king or a queen who's very, very opposed to outsiders, that would be really nice. Uh, we met a cat named Light and Chime is dead. Chime is not dead. I was kidding. Somehow Chime survived. I don't know how Chime has survived. But Chime survived an ambush all alone. <laughs> Good job, Chime. <laughs> okay, Leopard's tail was badly injured by a fox. Um, Spice is feeling a lot better. Night Fern announces that they are expecting kittens. They choose to continue their duties as usual for now. In 
interesting. Cove survived a vicious eagle attack with claw marks to prove it. Okay. Uh, Merc no longer has white cough and he believes he is part of a new prophecy. Well, we don't have prophecies in this kingdom, so unfortunately you're not. Mint has died of yellow cough. That is quite the unfortunate um, happening there. Mm, okay, so uh, apparently, who was it? Fern? Is it Fern who's expecting kittens? It is. Oops, no, that's Heather. Uh, Fern? Okay, okay, you made the cyclone. Okay, I see. That's interesting. Um, We're gonna keep patrolling. So Merc and Breeze, you two can go out. Uh, Breeze got some scraps. You know, I probably should have decided not to go on that one. Oh well. Uh, Aspen, you are going out alone and you are just stunning yourself. Well, at least you're not dying, so you know, that's okay. And Fern survived uh, this <laughs> this um, moon's patrol. So we actually found a an abandoned kitten. So that's quite interesting. We have a little Heather kit here. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know what I should name her. Um. Oh gosh. Oh gully gosh. Okay. Uh what do we name her? Man, Quiver is so cool. I, I forgot how cool Quiver was. Um we don't really have any do we have any original cats left? I don't I mean okay, no, we have Sir Onyx, I suppose. But other than that, we don't have any clan founders left, I don't think. Maybe Mystic? Is Mystic a clan founder? Nope. Yeah, I think Sir Onyx is the only clan founder left. That's, um, that's pretty interesting. Maybe one of the younger cats survived. Oh well. Um, right, the kitten's name. The kitten's name. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, let's look at the name list for a second here. It's a little gray kitten. We're gonna name her... Well, considering it's starting to become... Uh... Oh, it is Leaf Bear. It's not starting to become Leaf Bear. It is Leaf Bear. Okay, we're gonna name her Frost. Oh, not Frost. We're gonna name her Frost. <laughs> so there we go. We have a little Frost going on here. Uh, she's very, very adorable. Um, and she's polite and a picky nest builder, so that's interesting. Okay, let's uh, send out some new patrols. Ingot, Lynx, you two can go fishing. Apparently it goes very well. Um, we have we don't have a knight here, so they have to proceed. Fern, you can just eat if you want to. It doesn't really... <laughs> matter actually heather has a connection to dead cats sort of uh she just seemed like she was being connected quite a lot <laughs> or contacted quite a lot by cats uh she's gonna decide just not to proceed uh their companion stays with them as silent support while they work yeah so okay it seems like star clan is just kind of watching because star clan does exist in this universe it's just this kingdom has uh, was once a clan, but they have parted out to not be a clan anymore. So they don't support Star Clan and stuff. But I don't think Heather would mind uh, the Star Clan cats just sort of watching, watching her as she work. Uh, okay, so apparently Mystic and Sir Onyx had a huge fight and broke up. Uh, and Mystic was having a peaceful stroll outside of camp when they were attacked and killed by a dog right after. What in the world? Hello? What happened? Okay, so Onyx, you might have some weird uh, grudges. 
Oakley has gotten white or green cough. That's not good. King Shade survived his white cough, so we still have a king. That's nice. Uh, Night Fern thinks they'll have a large litter. They don't believe uh, they can efficiently work uh, or uh, perform their duties while expecting kits and decide to move into the nursery. And it is still Leaf Bear, so we will actually get to see the little kittens. So that's lovely. Uh, Breeze no longer has scrapes. And Stot, unfortunately, couldn't survive his broken back. Stot, I actually really liked its design, so I'm sad to see that he didn't survive long enough to have kittens. Uh, Heather fusses over their wound with a foul-smelling herbal poultice, and Cove hopes it'll fight the infection growing in their claw wound. Ay, ay, ay. This isn't too good. Uh, Aspen is now a full peasant, aka an adult, so she can actually go with other peasants now. Um, and if you guys are confused about the rules and such, I highly recommend watching um, the, the first episode, uh, not just year one, but we also had one where we made the clan and sort of went over the rules. So... Um, if you're confused, you can look at that. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so Frost touches noses with Cyclone, wondering whether this is truly the right path for them. Well, unfortunately, Frost, it's not, and you're gonna have to uh, change your mentor to uh, King Shade because you don't have a family, unfortunately. So, Chime and Spice, you two can go out. Uh, they antagonize a Hush Clan border. Or, yeah, well, yeah, the Hush Clan cats. Aspen and Night Ingot, we're gonna antagonize that. Um, Frost, you're going out alone. Uh, thankfully, she got to antagonize some clans and not anything else. Um, apparently Shade feels like Starkland is ignoring them. This might actually be him referring to Queen Snow ignoring him. Because he was blessed by Queen Snow the second, the literal day where he became um, the, uh, the leader of the, well, he was always king, but the day his, um, he truly became king over the kingdom. Um, so she might not, he might feel like she's not really responding to him anymore. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, they're all training. Whoopsie daisy. Frost, ginger snap, you two can go out. Here we have a knight, but it's a training patrol, so we're good. Cyclone, Merc. Uh, they unfortunately miss a mouse. And Heather has gathered some wild garlic. Okay, are you guys ready for even more kittens? Here we go. No! Oakley, why? You're like the only cat who's not part of a family that I actually recognize. Okay. Oakley seems to have died of green cough. Uh, Fern and Cyclone were so busy worrying about uh, and looking forward to the birth that it's only now that they look at their single kitten and wonder what to name them. Okay, so they only got one kitten. That's interesting. Uh, Leopard's poor mangled tail is swollen and hot to the touch. Uh, Heather searches for herbs, the herb stores for those that fight infection. Violet has recovered from white cough. That's nice. And Storm... Uh, no longer has a running nose. Oakley is unfortunately dead. That is unfortunate. And here we have the kitten of Fern and Cyclone. Okay, it's a daring little male. He is absolutely adorable. Uh, we're gonna see what kind of name we're gonna give him. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking uh, he's daring. He's daring. I'm gonna give him the name Jet. Um... For like jet black. <laughs> uh, not that he is jet black, but it's also sort of like uh, a jet like fast, you know. Um, 
Thought is absolutely adorable. He's so cute. And I hope he survives. <laughs> now that he actually does have a family with him. So, uh, I believe this is the last... The last... Um, moon for this episode? Frost, please survive. You survived. You didn't catch anything though. Uh, Aspen and Ingot are gonna go out. Uh, so we had two litters born this year. That's pretty interesting. And we had a lot of cats go. We had a lot of cats come. Um, Nutmeg's family is just thriving. Uh, see, this is this is a healer. I don't think they would be a healer if they were to join the clan, but we're still gonna proceed. Okay, they did join, but they're not going to be a healer. Uh, unfortunately. You're not allowed to, unfortunately. So we're gonna change you to a warrior. Also, you are beautiful, might I just add. Um, she's righteous and a great kid sitter. Well, you would have been a lovely healer. Maybe you can, um, uh, have, have some healer kits. I'm gonna name you Willow because, well, of the whole healer thing. And Willows are very, very beautiful and very, very peaceful. Uh, they're very calming <laughs> trees. And she also kind of looks like a Willow in a way. <laughs> So there we go. Uh, Night Storm Willow, please, Night, take care of her. Uh, the patrol is checking along the borders when they hear a startling sound, a hiss of pain. We have two righteous cats on our patrol. Neither of them would leave a cat in pain. Okay, it is a cat. Thank goodness. And they join the clan. So now we have another cat. <laughs> Uh, it's a trans female. Uh, she's insecure, a great hunter, and a great climber. Okay, so she's insecure. Let's look at the names again. And my goodness, thank you for all the name suggestions once more. I just want to make sure you guys know because whew, uh, there are a lot of names and I am going to need them all. <laughs> so if you have any more names, of course, just comment them down below and I will... Um, I will add them. Okay, so the question is what kind of name should we give her? I'm thinking um, she's black cat, sort of. Um, okay, how about I'm gonna name her Rune. Whoop. Actually, no, okay, no. Um, I'm gonna name her her uh, because of her name Fire. Hold on. No. <laughs> I'm having a horrible time. Um, okay, Dragonfly. Dra Dragonfly. There we go. Her name is Dragonfly. Um, because, I don't know, she just seems like... Like pretty, pretty tough, uh, yet pretty... Um, well, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> with flying around and stuff. So, uh, Merc and Frost are gonna go out on patrol. They actually survive a small little dog, so that's nice. Um, not only does Heather end up soaked to the skin, but they can't even find daisies under the snow. Uh, wasted and horribly chilly day. That is very unfortunate. Okay, but I do believe... Oh, little Jet. Jet is so cute. So very cute. I do believe that's sort of, uh, that's the end. Yeah, that's the end of, um, today, uh, today's episode. Well, this week's episode. So let's get a little sneak peek here. Uh, Saronix travels to Moor clan, Mole clan, uh, to roll some recent border disputes. However, it seems Saronix only made Mole clan more upset. King Shane fought a big dog and was badly injured. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that can't be good. Um, Sir Onyx is watching with pride as healer Crystal is... Uh, okay, no, okay. So Crystal is actually becoming a uh, an apprentice right now. 
Crystal accidentally trespasses onto more clan territory. Well, that is... And she's gotten a running nose. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we're gonna... Um, manage roles, and we're gonna make her a medicine cat apprentice. I thought we had a... Yeah, Frost. Okay, Frost is already apprentice to Kingshade. So there we go. My goodness. We are living off... La <laughs> we're leaving off on a little bit of a clap... <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> I'm gonna need a break. <laughs> We're leaving on of a little bit uh, of a cliffhanger here. With King Shade having a broken bone, which he might actually not survive. And does that mean that Ghost is gonna become the new... Um, the new king? Because if so, I mean, what happens to Lynx? And all that. And... Ghost isn't really um, honored and cherished in the same way as Queen Snow blessed uh, King Shade. However, the kingdom likes him more. So that's a little bit interesting. And we have little Crystal here, who's a fierce little healer. Um, so... And there are way, way too many cats. <laughs> We still have this many cats, even now. Nutmeg is really making herself uh, part of the clan. She's not a knight, but she is a very, very high-ranking peasant. Probably the highest-ranking peasant we have. Um, because of how many kittens she's gotten and how they've all survived. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them have. And we also have a little chat uh, who's asking the older cats how kittens are made. It's all lovely. So, if you guys do like this um, and want to see even more of Kingdom Clan and our other stories and adventures on the channel, uh, please do consider subscribing. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time, everyone. Bye-bye.